uh, more damage per level now at max level, but also illusions get the mana shield as yep, well. Which is so nuts. that's kind of nutty. So I haven't seen it at all ever since that change. So I'm keen to see what uh, what they're able to do with it. I personally think that Ancient Tribe might have this one. Alrighty, let's see what how it goes. And they also got a massive buff to the starting intelligence on this Medusa hero. So she's stronger from jump. Very intriguing to see how she's going to go. But let's get into it. Let's see what they got on the side of D2 Hustlers. If they can play fast enough to exploit this Ancient Tribe draft. They were considering going for a move through the Twin Gate. But they thought better on it. Dire side, of course, has the, the customary new ward to protect the Twin Gate. And let's see how this opening fight goes. Adentic outclicks the enemy. Will secure a bounty rune. But they might end up losing his life, though. Let's see he if they can chase him down. Grenade. LeBron throwing in some right-click damage. Oh, there we go. Last second soul assumption ticking in from the old flame and Mixer. Securing himself first blood and inflicting some emotional damage as LeBron instantly ticks, tips a Xantic to start the game. Man, I've been cussing a lot of China lately and they almost never tip. They're like, it's everything. Just polite. And then you come over to Western Europe, first blood, bam, right there on the board. <laughs> that mental damage is so important. Uh, OG showed this region the way. Since then, nothing's been the same, man. <laughs> well, uh, it's interesting, though, because they do get the first blood. However, they do end up losing out on three bounties as a result. I think if it's another hero that dies and not Adzentic and not Mixer getting the kill, they probably feel a bit better about it on the side of D2. But Adzentic dying, it is what it is. We are now in this lane. And as you mentioned, Alchemist should do perfectly fine here. This lane's actually going to be boring as hell, let's be honest. Nobody should end up dying here. Maybe the Void Spirit, honestly. Like, one point Acid Spray, he's already at zero armor. Like, that he has to play around with, right? So he almost has to be farming underneath his tower just to make sure he's not getting right-click like a beast. So we'll see, we'll see. I'd say bot lane is probably where a lot of the action's gonna be happening. We see Alex play a lot more of these quote-unquote traditional um, position fives as a position four, the CM, the Disruptor. He's able to make a lot happen with them. And, well, with only uh, four mangoes to be able to play around with at the start of the game, you've really got to be on point. So he bought out three to start this one as we actually get a kill up top. Was not expecting that one. Yeah, now it's even without having access to the Pit of Malice to set up for the Sacred Arrow. It was just heads up, they got him. Tick him down with the fire damage of the Firestorm. Okay, that feels pretty good to be able to get that early kill onto this Chen hero. Or just getting any kind of gold into the hands of Divai Lama, given how powerful his aura buildup can be in this game, Crimson God in particular. Yep. Again, you gotta add execute. Those are the kills that D2 hustlers need to make happen if they're going to be able to get out of this one with a W. It's mm -hmm. all around Divai Lama. Like, what is his positioning like? Does he have TP when the rest of his team is getting jumped on? Is Fiend's Gate available? Have they been able to exploit some of his movement? Uh, I'm keen to see as well, with the, the Mirana pick, one of the other advantages to it. Yes, you can like instantly take creeps, blah, 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 blah. Moonlight Shadow feels great. But seven minute mark, is he going to look to invade over to the Ancient Tribe side and try and steal away that Wisdom Rune? Because many a time we see supports just spend a lot of time before they're able to hit up onto that level six if they don't have either an amazing laning stage or they get those wisdom runes denied away. I've seen, even mm. in pro games, uh, it go down to like the 16 minute mark and you're still level five on a support. Oh. It does feel just overall, up. you have a lot less experience as a support. Yep, and down bottom they are trying to set up. However, this yep. movement was scouted. The other core got seen underneath the observer ward that they planted in the top lane. They so know. they know that this movement is coming and they just scouted him, Alex knows. And are they going to play carefully though? Because they might still end up dead nonetheless. Mixer, he's going to get cold feeded. He came too close. And they are going to be able to find this kill. Despite being aware the Oliko was here. Not playing carefully enough on Mixer. And they still have the arrow. Alex will be able to dodge it out. But this might not save him. Okay, he'll be fine. Had he gotten hit, he would have died. He doesn't. But unfortunately, this is not catch 22, right? You might know a move is coming. But you can't stay safe, unaware, and are not farming forever, right? At some point, you have to take the risk. And the risk this time does not pay off for Mix and the gang. Yeah, I think it was just a case of like, maybe Alex needed to go a little bit deeper into the tree line to actually find it. Because if that's the case, then you're not going to get a max duration arrow. You're not going to get uh, the cold feet able to proc because AA was playing on the left side of the uh, the creep wave. So mm. uh, the other thing as Whoa. well is they actually get another kill. Fiola Core is making a lot of nice movements up towards the top side and even able to uh, to tip a little pleb off the back of that i mean divai llama put the second He's... point into the atrophy aura first what's up mm. uh, didn't he just didn't divai just solo him i didn't see the casting any spells before that happened oh really yeah i think divai just soloed him 
Well, I look at the fight recap. Yeah, nothing being credited to Morana. Somehow, Javai Lama soloed the lane. What a boss. With 137 damage to <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, alrighty. Nicely done by Divai Lama in that situation. And the Oloko, yes, he managed to find a kill down bottom, but also they make sure that they don't get punished on the top lane. So Divai Lama is actually the CS leader in the game right now. Probably going to be close to being Nedworth leader. Yep, and he is just behind the Alki. This game so far is perfect with D2 Hustlers. Alex, oh no, Alex, he's about to tick out. He survives on 12 oh. HP, dies to the, the Stormhammer. Mixer, though, might be able to bring down Yuma and get some revenge for him. Right, we'll worth. be able to do so with the Soul Assumption. Yeah, definitely hashtag worth. I'm giving up my life in exchange for Sven any day of the week if I'm playing five. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, I'd say Xanthic's doing a pretty good job in this mid lane, right? Like, he's getting a bunch of denies away from Mobe. Yeah, he's still scaling on the Alchemist, but uh, the fact that you're bullying him away despite forcing him to go into this Bracer as well feels real nice for the Void Spirit. It's Xanthic. He's really shown up on a lot of these Spirit-style heroes. Um, just with Divai Lama as well, like, I, I love the fact that he's going into the Atrophy or up here. He knows that he's going to get farm. He knows that he's unkillable now that he's picked up this Vanguard plus the, uh, the Atrophy or against any sort of Chen rotation. So he can build up these huge waves and, well, just let the Firestorm deal with them in that way. Mm. He's not mobile. No boots yet. He believed... Did, does he have a Soul Ring coming out to him or... Uh, looks like he wants to go the Arcane Boots first despite mm. having all of that regen. Just make sure that he's topped up in all forms of regen, both HP and mana pool. Down bottom, we do have six heroes all gathered here today. The Oloko almost loses his life, but his team allows him to get the escape. LeBron also falling precariously close to dying. And then nobody wants to do anything that's going to put them completely out of position. However, for Ancient Tribe, it does feel like they are suffering at the moment. And Adzentic coming in with an invis rune. They haven't scouted this one out. He jumps in, looking for Alex. We'll be able to find him. Very quick pick up there for the Void Spirit. And he'll just mosey himself back mid. And he knows he's playing into Alchemist. As much as this hero cannot farm you, pushing buildings early is not something Alchemist oh, does. So you don't have to be scared just yet. Oh he god, he's just to gonna stick and... around. So he's wanting us to slide LeBron and then take the Wisdom Rune. Nice, they get the quick kill onto LeBron. They want more. Mixer, he's falling so low here. They find the Cold Feet proc, but he's underneath the tower. So he's much tankier than he would be. At Zantic, he gets himself stunned up with the Frostbite. And finished off as they bring Look in the this race Alchemist. for that rune. And Hakoda, they want this wisdom rune. Can he get there in time? No, he cannot frostbite <laughs> from Alex. And this might actually set up into a kill as well. Hakoda, no TP out for you, my friend. Mobe has shown up. Mobe is gonna mop up. So they stick around a little bit too long, Dana. I'm gonna fly too close to the sun and get punished by the side of Ancient Tribe. Yeah, I mean, it's all on the back of Mobe, right? Like, he is able to make that TP happen. And the plus side as well is that means that Pleb can get the hell out of this uh, Underlord lane. He really doesn't want to be playing here. He's two levels down, and he's up against a Vanguard. There is absolutely nothing that he can do to be able to stop this Underlord from farming. So right now, it's just on LeBron to slowly try and tick out this Creep Wave. At least he's got the double Wild Wings to be able to cast that Tornado, which clears it out relatively quickly, actually. Yeah, he's doing a fairly decent job, but... Is basically just try and protect this tower for as long as possible because if you've gone for this greedy style of draft then it means that you're going to be able to uh, obviously use the map quite effectively if you can retain it and that's really mm. going to be the big thing stop them from taking it away from you as they look to even build up some stacks on lebron while he's doing all of this yeah might as well make up. life easier for the alchemist at some point uh mobe is going to be wanting to farm up all these stacks we don't know exactly which build he's going for just yet on the Alchemist. He hasn't queued up anything. But the team is stacking up on top. They want the team on tower and they should be able to get it. I do not think Ancient Tribe has any interest in defending this right now. So as the tower yeah. falls, they are looking for a gank bottom onto Yuma. Oh, he, dude, he Why actually not? just got out just in time with the Twin Gate. And oh, they're going to steal the stack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not what we want. And the Oliko is the one getting most of this gold as well. Pretty good user of all of that. Like wasn't able to secure the uh, the wisdom rune previously, so at least it does mean that he's going to get in towards that level six as quickly as possible. They're actually making another move down towards this bottom side to try and uh, stop this push from happening. Obviously, Divai Lama playing that Underlord, one of those heroes that you could just pop in front of a tower. And again, they really don't have the way to deal with him just yet. So mm. that's why I was uh, referring to a lot of his positioning being so vital in these early stages of this game. He's only 850 gold away from being able to pick up that Crimson Guard for himself as well. 
We do see a small fight breaking out inside the jungle. Mobe will find himself needing some assistance here. The team is coming in from the Radiant side, though, as they're catching out Mobe. He's falling very low. Arrow from Theolico prevents Alex from going deeper into health. And Mobe, strong as he is, not going to be strong enough to survive this. I say that, though, but he's still alive somehow. Throws back a stun onto the Marana. Mobe is still living. They've killed off both supports. And Mobe is starting to regen up through the Chemical Rage. He's actually fine. Yep. He had supports there. He had uh, full bottle that he was just sipping as he went for that escape. And, I mean, they don't really have any auras to be able to play around with just yet. I'm not sure if uh, Mixer was able to land the Solar Crest onto him to maybe give him a little bit of that extra movement speed. But we were wondering what sort of build Mixer was going to be going for, considering you do have the Chen to be this big aura bot. But it's not exactly like uh, LeBron has been all that successful in being able to pick up any of those sort of items just yet. No mm. mech, I don't believe. And uh, really just looking to go into his own farm for now. Yep. The Visage, after the Solar Crest, going into Bongo Boots, just to increase the speed that Ancient Tribe can make these moves around the map. Still not sure what the Alchemist wants. He just has the Phase Boots Bracer. It's so gonna be quite a while until he has the necessary goal to fully commit. So he can play like this a little bit right now, but they're gonna smoke. They're looking gonna for a to target. Play off of. Yep. Although the target middle, Adventic is not an easy one to be able to pick up off of this, unless Alex finds him and catches him sleeping. Unfortunately, Adzantik has gone a little bit too far afield. It'll just be Hakoda. This is still a good kill, though, because that denies him having Ice Blast. And Ice Blast is actually a huge deal for this game. And he is about to die. Saws Hakoda. Sorry, fam. Somebody had to take an L. Today, it's you. You broke the gank, but you're not getting level 6 off this wave. Not if Ancient Tribe can help it. Mm -hmm. Still, they're not going to lose any tower damage, right? Adzantik soaks it all up. He was able to go back and uh, assist with Yuma, building up another stack for himself. So the Sven is going to continue to farm. They're going to continue it, to fight as well as they can't bottom. Mobe throws in the slam onto a Divine Armor, who has no way to get himself out of this one. Yeah, sure, you have access to the Vanguard, but that will oh, not protect you up against three heroes, a massive amount of army, and all these tips. You There's can't some stop feeling the tips, in man. this one, Snare. <laughs> Uh, it's almost like this game has stakes of going into Div 1, man. I don't know, man. There's, there's a point where you're like, really, you're going to keep tipping him? But uh, no, nah, this feeling really solid. It almost feels like the unstoppable force versus the immovable object right now. You know, you've got a Sven who's going into the war cry. You've got the Underlord with all of his damage reduction. He's got the Crimson Guard now available, going into even more auras to be able to play around with the pipe. And I'm assuming a Halberd coming after that. And then again, you've got the aggression coming out from Ancient Tribe. You've got the drums. You've got the eventual Bongo Boots. You've got the Solar Crest. You've got Alchemist with his really high damage. Chen still hasn't built up into any auras yet, but you know it's coming. Yep. It is inevitable, indeed. I still can't wait to see how this Medusa is going to function throughout the game. Had a bit of a rough start. She's bottom of the net worth in terms of all the cores. But that will eventually change as she gets more and more items into her belt. For now, though, D2 so, Hustlers, I would like to see them do more with ads and tech, but I guess they're waiting for him to finish his, da his uh, Dagon. And then you start to move out from there. Oh, he's changing his mind. Going for Echo Saber instead. Boring. I have seen a lot more... Because you are a, a universal hero now, right? So these yeah. things that just do a lot of physical damage are getting a lot more priority as they actually make an attempt on Tomobe. Yeah, and this time around, they have the burst to kill him. Wow, okay. Who needs Dagon when you have Ice Blast? That's a ton of damage. And of course, it negates the primary advantage of having Chemical Rage up. That was very nicely executed by D2 Hustlers. A lot easier to be able to land it as well, right? Just if you land that, uh, that Astral Step, the slow through the, uh, the Void Mark, really just allowing no sort of escape unless you've gotten like maybe a Bongo Boots to be able to get back to safety. Mm. But not quite yet. So for Sven, what do you want to see from him in this game? Because um, I think that's always been one of the issues with this hero in terms of his utility in the game, itemization, knowing exactly what to buy and when. Uh, he already has Echo Saber. He's going for Blink next. It looks like just a standard game for him, right? Like Blink, BKB, come back for AC, get Harpoon, maybe a Daedalus. Is there anything funkier you could imagine him going for on this Sven? I don't think so. I think his main role is going to be as soon as he's got that Blink Dagger available, it's just all about, like, 
who is the most important target to find? Sometimes it's going to be Mixer. Uh, just if he, for example, is caught out a little bit too deep, maybe a little low on the Gravekeeper's Cloak Charges. If it's Alchemist without the Chemical Rage popped, then it's going to be him. You know, if it's Chen, once he gets him to a bunch of these auras, if you can just blink and burst him down with a God Strength, then suddenly a lot of that unstoppable force goes away. Mm -hmm. Mid lane. Ice Blast did connect onto the Medusa, but... This no is not the hero to go for. Yeah, with Ice Blast, she does not care about this. Gotta be careful about tread switching, though, when you've got such little uh, <laughs> HP to be able to play around when you've got that Frostbite on you. I still can't believe she has zero strength key. Yeah. <gasps> oh, this, this patch, new patch, man. Gotta love it. Smoked on bottom. Adds a ticket crew. Gonna try and find some kills. They'll be able to pick up Alex. Hashtag worth, creating vision. Just buying space, boys. And they're not going to lose anything irreplaceable off the back of this. All the heroes are just farming. They're just getting money, 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 money. They haven't lost any towers that really matter to them just yet. So they can just throw LeBron to soak up pressure up top. Mid and bottom are still good. Honestly, in this bottom tower, you know, it used to be completely irrelevant to take out. It's really now relevant. Now like, with Tormentors and Orb of Wisdom, yeah, it's like super relevant to defend this as long as you can. Mm-hmm. Lama still hasn't activated his tier 1 token and... Well, they're putting him onto the front lines, but they'll know. They'll know that he's got some backup there as uh -oh. Alchemist. Is he about to get scouted out here? Dodges he is, the Ice but Blast. but then he doesn't get Ice Blast, and he might still die, however. As they don't need the Ice Blast to bring him down when it's 1v3. That was some optimistic positioning from Mobe Danark, and it does not pay off. He gets punished pretty hard. He was trying to reveal the Orchid as well. That's the build that he's gone for in this game. Not building up into the Radiance. Uh, they're looking for a Mixer. They're not going to find oh, no, him, but they're going to steal the stack. The stack. This is huge. They have to fight this. They need to defend this. Yuma in the God Strength trying to clear out the Ancients. Between yeah, himself and the Firestorm, they do manage to do it. Uh, and they get out squad free as well. This is massive. And that just means that they build up into that Blink Dagger so much more quickly on Yuma, right? He's just finished it up. He's going into the BKB next, so there's not going to be any kind of Frostbite or anything like that stopping him from going on to his key target. I like the way they played this. Divine Llama, activate the token. Come on. I know it looks like you've got an item, but you don't. He's not going to do it. Maybe once oh. the tier 2 comes out, it'll be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that thing. By the way, what's the most amount of neutral items that you see in the same one in a game? We've seen four of the same a couple of across times. Across both teams? Uh, yeah, across both teams, yeah. Yeah, I've seen, like, four spell prisms. Uh, what else have we seen? Uh, like... Really quick games. I've seen five faded bro faded brooches. Uh, we are seeing four faded brooches now. So God. <laughs> clearly, a very good item. Did you see the the thing with crit where he was like, "Yeah, I didn't get a faded brooch, so I uh, just didn't activate my item at all." I, I thought it was. Just <laughs> You're like, whatever. The faded brooch. I have no idea. I just came back into the game. It's it's way too good. Mm -hmm. Maybe if they like made the mana 100, you know, it'd still be really good. Anything in Dota that gives you either free positioning or free movement speed, just absolutely busted on mm -hmm. principle. I'm still upset they didn't remove Tumblr Sway from the game. Like, I really hate Tumblr Sway, Ogre Seal Totem, Force Boots, these free repositioning items. A bit, a bit too strong, a bit too strong. I, I don't hate Tumblr Sway because I, I think it creates the opportunity for like big play moments, you know, as another kill onto the Alchemist around that vision. Freshly laid down by Hakoda. Uh, yeah. I just want to highlight as well, Atzantic, he's going into a Desolator for himself. So clearly, they're feeling like off the back of this really strong start by Hustlers. And again, they needed to execute this almost to perfection. As mm. once again, they do just off the back of another pick off there by Atzantic without the vision. All heroes to be able to pick that one up. Uh, nice. If a few fights don't go their way, this could still swing back in Ancient Tribe's favor, but you really don't expect a draft with an Alchemist and a Medusa who didn't lose too much of their map early on to be 4k behind already at this stage. Mm. I think that part of the problem is that this Alchemist, because he didn't build into the Blink Dagger early on, he's only going back for it now, they didn't actually have a hero to go in for them and make things happen. Like yep. this Alchemist, the Medusa, the Visage, they sit very far back in these fights. So Alki, he's the only one that can create dynamism, even his supports don't do it for him. But D2 Hustlers, it's easy as pie for Azantic to just jump in and force a fight. And he's been doing so really, really well. Also, I've been seeing a bevy of different builds on the Star of Wade's build of late. I've seen like the double bracer into Phylactery Daedalus build. I've seen the Dagon build. Seen Dagon Echo Saber Dagon yeah. Desso. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna I be mean, seeing a Dead Encoder. 
Yeah, I have seen harpoons as well. But harpoon is really good on this hero. I'm a, I'm a very firm believer in harpoon in general. I think that's a very oh, good They're going to rush off of this? Okay. Uh, well, this is one can. way to yeah. get yourself a little bit further back into the game. Clearly, uh, I would imagine that they're going to give this one over to Mobabe, right? Because he's the one that seems to be gone on in almost every single attempt. I know, you know, if you get the chemical rage, blah, 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 but you just need to give the time, the team, excuse me, time with their auras to be able to find and catch up to you and be able to mm. provide that assistance. Look at this, even dropping the freezing field to be able to take it down a little bit further. Because he needs that blink dagger, right? He needs that, he needs oh, the... Uh, they're coming. The Albert. I mean, is it fast they're enough? They're coming. Nice done. It's actually not dead just yet. Very nice done oh, with the war star. Nice it's not gaze. dead. It's still alive. Stone gaze will come out. Adentic trying alive. to go for this deal. Really huge ice blast kills the Roche, but they still snatch it away from low pleb. Right now, Alchemist will be the first casualty of this fight with God Strength going. Yuma putting his attention towards low pleb. This Medusa, she has an Aegis, but that might not last forever. Beautiful stone drop, standing up multiple heroes. Alchemist brought back for this one. So he's doesn't dying. have Eximat HP because he's losing his life so quickly. Needs to be careful. Trying to run away from the fight. Cold Feet will muscle him away. But at the same time, Yuma will find that his first life... Uh, doesn't have a second life, rather, after taking away the first one from Lil Pleb. Lil Pleb and the crew. Mobe trying to chase oh. on the high ground. Won't be able to reach it. As in Tech going back with the Dissimilate. They want Mobe so Doing bad. some damage. They really wanted Mobe, but Mobe does escape. Mixer, not so lucky. Taken out by D2 Hustlers. Oh, they it's found him. four for nothing, and they just found Mobe. They've caught him out. This might be a dieback here, Dana, if they can catch him. If they can, they get out the stun. No, he hey, cannot. He done. denies himself, though. That's really nice. That's cool. I would tip them back right now. But oh, yeah. he might not be feeling like he's in the mood, as they still <laughs> no. end up losing four heroes. Yeah, 10k net worth league. You never feel real good with the denies. Arrow hopefully misses onto Alex, and it just does. As the Olicor had his sights set onto him. But again, like... This is now the time where, because you weren't able to defend a few of those first fights, because Hustlers, especially around Theola Core, made so many great early movements, now you've got Divai Lama with the Crimson Guard. He's scaling, he's got the pipe, he's got 250 stolen aura with that Atrophy Aura. You've got a maxed out Warcry, so a lot of the damage is pretty lacking on Ancient Tribe. Mm. You know, they don't have these scaling cores scaling just yet. That's the big issue. Yep. Their damage Maybe is still too slow. To get the Tormentor. Just to give them a little bit of a, a boost somehow. I mean, if, again, if you could get that Holy Persuasion for LeBron, it would feel really nice. Just to be able to... Oh, man, they're even scouting this out. Dude, they're what? being griefed everywhere. They're just not being allowed to make moves. Adzen Tick's actually going to jump in. They get the kill, or they should get the kill onto LeBron. As uh, he's like underneath it. the Ice Blast, so he will eventually die. The Oracle brings him down. Can they get the Tormentor and get out? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, it not expires quite. just before... Hakoda can get through the pit. reasonably pushed in, though, so they could probably, on the back of all of this strength, and, you know, knowing that they don't have an Aegis anymore, knowing that, you know, Chen's going to be dead for the next 10 or so seconds, looks like they still want to go back and farm, maybe just pick up their own Tormentor. Why not? Yeah. You steal from the opponent. Might as well get your own one. I mean, this, just this lay is down nice Vortex very good. Yeah. I think he needs to stay here, though. Doesn't, of course, need to be with the team to, uh, to assist with that torment to pick up, and uh, who's going to be the one that actually ends up getting it? Marana. Eh. It's a lot no, better than fine. it used to be, you got to say. The uh, the Marana shard. It was abysmal previously, but now the uh, the damage output through the leap feels really nice. The fact that you can uh, choose the direction of the jump as well gives you a lot more control around it. Mm. It would have been nice if it went towards the Void Spirit. Could be very cavalier with the usages of Remnants, but you don't mind too much that Marana got it. It's, it's not like previously where you were just like, oh my god, get me out of this game. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Are there any like so horrible shards anymore? I know Disruptor is still really bad, but any others that you can think of off the top of your head for a support? The support shards? Mm -hmm. I think most of the support shards are now pretty good. Uh, let me think. There's one that's terrible that was, I was looking at the other day. Uh, Warlock's new one? Warlock's, Warlock's new one is terrible. Mm -hmm. It's awful. Like relative to the previous one. AoE Shadow Word was actually busted. Yep. This new one, whew, the upheaval imp is not good. No. It's very not good. Yeah, that one sucks, actually. Yeah, you're right. Uh, what also sucks is being 15k net worth behind when you're playing Alchemist. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't fill you with confidence. It makes you feel very, very bad about yourself. And doesn't feel like the game gets much easier to play either. Adzantic just jumps in. Jesus. There used to be a Chen over there. He's just dead. This Deso build from Adzantic. And he's got a doing a lot Yasha of work onto these supports. Well. He went Yasha first on this Void Spirit, just wanting a little yeah, bit of extra movement speed, I guess. 
Not really a. But he has it in his backpack, so he doesn't actually have the Yasha yeah. right now. <laughs> That's the most baller move ever. You buy like a 2k gold item, you just put it in your backpack. Okay, mm. Jesus is it out now. For one more minute. When it hits 25 minutes, that Wraith Band's going right back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a sad place to be. So, uh, we still don't have the Blink Dagger for Mobe. They can't fight until they have that Blink. So, what do you do on the side of Ancient Tribe? Once you have the Blink, do you go for some smoke maneuver? Or do you try to bait D2 Hustlers into making a mistake before you start playing proactively on the map? Holy, sorry, I, I just got to take a moment just to rip his net worth, basically, because he has had yeah, dude, he has zero no item progression ever since that Orchid. Like, he, he looks like he's just trying to cut waves at this point. Unfortunately, some of these waves that he's cutting is not where this team is at, and not where they're ganking right now from the side of D2 Hustlers. Run away. And they will be able to find LeBron. LeBron, yet again, going to be the first casualty here. Yuma wants more here. Alex will find Man, his busy field interrupted this? by the Storm Hammer and just get brought down. They pop the Stone Gaze from Medusa just to get the hell out of dodge. Mixer also managing to TP out. So they just lose both their supports. Uh, tier 2 Tower Mobe. probably don't follow them. <laughs> Forget where uh, yeah, he is. Mobe. <laughs> they got the gate in 15 seconds. But he got the Blink. He got the Blink Dagger. He has he Blink. Did. That's why he's here. I mean, sure. You don't want to be dying for it, but uh, yeah, no, they, they got the blink available. I oof, just wondering where he's sending the courier as well, or if it's just holding it back in base. I think it has to be that. Yeah, there we go. Active and available now, but I mean, they don't have a freezing field to be able to play, play around with. They don't have that stone gaze either. So do you really feel confident in being able to move on forward? It's Divine Lama. He's pretty tanky. They will be the able to off. kill him though. Let's get the auras yeah, off. Did... He does get the guard off eventually and the pipe. And when he does, it takes a lot longer. Had he gotten those off immediately, we might have had a situation where he could call in reinforcements. But he doesn't, so he dies. That's a huge injection of gold, Daynog. Like, uh, actually phenomenal amount of gold that yes. got changed hands here. Look at this. The Alchemist got like 450 gold. Medusa got a further 215. A couple more pickoffs like that and the game start, does, it's, it's still very hard, but not impossible anymore. Yeah, it's still incredibly hard, I would say. I mean, when they tipped him after that, honestly, my reaction, if I was Divine Lama, all chat question mark, because it's like, okay, you <laughs> needed five people to be able to kill me, and you barely did, grats. If even I had one teammate around, I probably would have lived. And I now know that you've got a Blink Dagger on Alchemist, so, yep. you know. Nice, uh, nice Dana. reveal, bro. Brother Dana, uh, you've been casting Dota for a while now, right? Uh -huh. How many times in your life have you been in a game with Manta style Void Spirit? <laughs> Pretty rarely. I mean, maybe I guess like 50 million roots and stuff, but yeah. Oh, uh, I have. Universal Heroes. In a pro man. game, I've, not, I've, not, I've never seen this. And when well, it's working, you know, more attack speed with this Desolator Echo Saber build. This Desolator has six charges inside of it right now. 8, 2, and 7 on the Dantic, building into a Daedalus. I have seen the Davis is becoming more comfortable. I've seen this more and more recently, but he's having a really great game on this white spirit. Mm -hmm. You have to wonder as well, like when is Mixer actually going to spend some of his money? Because he's you know 10.7k on the net worth charts, but he's actually only using about six and a half of that. So, you know, his impact really isn't being felt a lot of the time. And especially if you see Void Spirit going for this pure physical damage build, it seems, you need at least the plate mail purchase stuff. Because that could be anything. That could still be, I don't know, a Lotus Orb to be able to get you out of a, uh, a, a Pit of Malice, for example. Hmm. No, I wouldn't mind actually them uh, seeing them go for something like that. I'd be very happy to see a, a just a, a value plate mail for now. Yeah. They're going to pop Moonlight Shadow as we have... They're thinking about going into the Roshan Pit. Regrettably for them, the big man is still down for another two minutes. And that's going to give Ancient Tribe some time to get off on the map, get this Wisdom Rune. A couple of minutes in, we're going to have the Joey Tormentor. Wait, this is the second one, so it's still a Joey Tormentor, yeah. Sorry, uh, just, nice uh, and I'm early. looking down at this bottom side, they see Mobe. I was about to say he's done a good oh, job at no. avoiding a lot of these ganks, but no. not anymore. No. Oh. oh, he dodges the arrow, but he's, he's still very, very dead. I think part of the problem for uh, Mobe here, when we saw them win with this uh, Alchemist against the Sven, the Alchemist had Radiance, which of course makes Sven life a lot more difficult. And he didn't buy armor items, he just went for like raw HP. So Sven, even though you don't have to worry about the armor. Or was it a little pleb? Yeah, uh, a little pleb. Little pleb, little pleb. Hmm. Uh, LeBron's just dead. 
But the point I wanted to reach is that that itemization actually can be decent against Fen. Dealing with like this massive amount of HP, you can actually play around this hero because you also do something. The build that he's gone for here on Lo on Mobe doesn't feel like it actually impacts this fan at all, right? This Orchid, whatever, he's got BKB right now. And even with BKB, even with the Orchid outside BKB, as long as he has God Strength, Mask of Madness, and isn't being stunned up, he's still fine. He's happy yeah. to just continue playing the fight. Halberd, so, maybe. Alex, uh, rip in peace. Oh, uh, Harpoon is out. Bye. Shadow Warp. This Harpoon item is so good, honestly. It's gym? the best. Why does he see him? Uh, he was Shamu Shadow Amuleted. This is this is a good question. This is a very good question. We need a replay production. We need to see what happened. We need to know what's up. I mean, it's a 1.25 second fade time, but I feel like he was uh, being hit a lot longer than that. We'll have to count if we get a replay on that one. All right. Unfortunately, his death also means that they are yet again on the side of Ancient Tribe playing with a numerical disadvantage. And they will be able to get to the Roshan pit down bottom if they take the twin gate for this one. But it's a very bold move to make at this point in time. They the jump TP's instead coming. onto Divine Lama. TPs are coming in though. And they will be able to kill him. The question is, do they get out for free? And that might be yes. They don't have any vision of ads and tick, so they can't follow up with the stun onto him. But they do manage to pick off Divine Lama. Ping and Rosh. He doesn't have buyback. Yeah, they need to go Rosh right now on the Radiant side, or at the very least be prepared to fight around the pit. I think they're just looking to set up vision right now. Dakota, having a look if they've got any sort of vision around this twin gate available for them. Doesn't look like it. Roshan, it's not time for you to go to your holiday home just yet. He was uh, making a bit of a move out of the pit after being hit by the vortex. But uh, you have to wonder, like, what are Ancient Tribe feeling? Do they want to give up this second Aegis just because they feel like they're going to have the sustained damage through the Alchemist, through the Visage, through the Medusa, just if you they get into that one more item? Because they are finally starting to scale. Maybe not the Alchemist so much, but at least he's got the Halberd now. So you've got a little bit of that Sven answer. Even the Void Spirit at this stage feels like a pretty decent answer considering he has gone full physical. But, uh, mm. I mean, the downside, of course, is that no Crimson Guard Builder for your team. They've got the AC, though, picked up. Finally, with the Visage. Who can they look to catch yeah. out here? I mean, AA would be the absolute dream, but they're just clumped up as five. All avenues towards this Roche Pit mm. are protected by D2 Hustlers, and it feels like Divai Lama's putting himself here as bait. Yep. He's a very easy person to jump on, but jumping him... Will not give you the success that you really want. Those they do just scout out that they, yeah. they got some vision though. They know that this is coming. How long's left on they the smoke? They, they smoked a second time on Ancient yeah. Tribe. Mobe jumps in, finds the start. Oh, it actually gets two off of this. Can they combo this with some stone drops? They don't they want to do so just ground. yet. They're looking for this high ground positioning. They want to get damage out with Lil Pleb as well. God Strength got popped, so no, What can run. they do here? They see the God Strength getting popped. They get the stun out onto Yuma, but he pops BKB before it connects. Ice Blast coming back onto Lil Pleb. They will use the Stone Gaze on this Medusa. She has half a mana pool remaining. But they can try to play around this on the side of D2 Hustlers. They it's Moonlight the Shadow themselves. Mobe looking for another stun. Jumping in. Won't be able to get it off because Adzantik is in Dissimilate mode. Mixer staying alive a little bit longer with his own Stone oh, Bomber. Look at the stun onto three. They clumped up inside a pit of malice on the three as well oh my god beautiful storm hammer from yuma they brought down both supports they've taken out mobe as well hakoda though losing his own life he needs to walk away from this medusa he does die but buys back in as him? yuma who will be able to at the very least bring down the medusa although it costs his own life at the same time adds into cleans up house on the back end gets a triple kill on the void spirit look at the lines D2 hustlers on the they map mop up just... ancient tribe push it in push it in that's all they want Let's no, go. Sven, we don't need this Roshan. They just want to push those lanes and put themselves in a really advantageous spot to be able to take it for free without having to set up that sort of bait. And I mean, they, they just clumped up. It's as simple as that, right? Look at all the damage being done by the Dusa, though. She is finally starting to scale nearly 8,000 damage off the back of that Enchanted Quiver. And a lot of that right-click damage that she's pumping out. But, I mean, I really felt like they didn't need to reinitiate, right? They had that high ground control. They... I guess didn't want to clump up too much around the high ground, but then they just did it around the low ground instead. So just mm. didn't wait for the god strength. Didn't wait for a lot of those auras from Divine Lama to wear off, and that oh, was another lost fight that I really felt could have gone a bit more in their favor. I still don't feel yep. strong enough to be able to take out this Tormentor without the Sven needing his burst damage. Yep. We have now officially entered Obelisk <laughs> the Tormentor levels of Tormentor strength.
We have. We've also got a Dagon on Theolacor, which you love to see. Of course. Of course. The new Dagon is really good. Yeah. So Buffed through the Wazoo. Yeah, baby. So now we've got uh, even tanky Morana. She's going to get the stats from the Dagon. Still have the Grief, so heal. But as well as the spell life steal from the Dagon. Gonna keep her alive. I think they're gonna try and take this Tormentor right now. You're not gonna get to Roshan quickly enough. They know Sven's been up for a while. This is a little bit of a useless attempt, I think, when they could be getting Chen, for example, a free Aghanim shot. He still hasn't got it. 34 and a half minutes into the game, which I he, they need it. They even had an Ancient Granite Golem right there below the Tormentor to be able to give them that little bit of extra HP to be able to play around. So maybe Sven doesn't 100 to 0 you. Hmm. Bro, they're being taunted. There's not just one, there's two ancient granite golems. They're actually going for a fight, but it's not the whole team. They don't vision. have the Chen with them. They have some vision. They jump onto the Oloko, but they how much can commit. they get? Oh no, Yuma finds two cores with the Storm Hammer. We'll be able to mow down Mobe. And low play. Yeah, you got off the Stone Gaze, but there's almost no way you survive this fight. We'll be able to pop the Manta style as they brought down Alex already. Storm Hammer catches him out on low play, and they bring him down. Add and take with a Beyond God like Street credited with the kill. And even more charges on his Deso. Oh no. This is worst case scenario. Dana, why would they go for that fight? I, okay. If they go for that fight and commit, go off, King. You know, like that's all I really wanted to see. But you saw the, the oh, Alchemist no. jump in, lands a stun, and then backs off. And it's like, well, what, what was the point of that? You know, like, was the communication just not there? As, well, Nixon nearly gets harpooned by the Sven, and he's going to get gone on regardless. Yeah. Look at this micro coming through though from the hurricane. So much movement being forced out from Ancient Tribe, but they're into your base now. It just yep. feels like they're not on the same page, doesn't it? They're just not playing the same brand of Dota together. The team is at odds with itself at the moment. Mobe, Mobe. Uh, they might go chasing for him. I mean, you've got a Void Spirit. No, you just keep pushing. I mean, Void Spirit has Deso, right? You just put the corruption on the towers, force them to have to come to you somehow. Mid lane, they potentially caught him out here. So Koda. Is looking for the cold feet. Ice block will not connect, but they get the drag back with this harpoon of Yuma right into the damage from the rest of the they squad. Right and they back. take the Fiend's Gate right back. It's almost like we never left Enoch. We're just doing mm -hmm. what we were doing a few moments ago. Although he does have buyback potentially for the next push. Oh, I mean, but he's not going to have chemical rage for the next 20 seconds, and you feel pretty useless. If that's the case, they're going to give up two lanes of racks minimum, at least waiting until this chemical rage is up and available once more. But. I mean, it feels like they can just stick to Vyalama up on the high ground if they really want to. Still having the double damage on the Void Spirit to be able to play around with. He's got those two Astral Step charges. They're going to force a movement with the God Strength. Yep. The Alchemist does have Chemical Rage back online. Surprise buyback in 10 seconds. Doesn't want to use it right now, but it might be too late to save the base. Jumping onto Alex, just forcing him away from the fight. Rain Drax will fall. One building separates D2 Hustlers from getting the Mega Creeps. With Alchemist respawning, they will want to just back Engage. off a little bit. Nice oh, little life plus out to LeBron. Adzintic thinking about it. Really thought about it. But they decide to rather let cooler heads prevail. They back off. They will come back in for another push down the stretch. And they don't need to take their big risk here, right? You're already so far ahead in the game. Might as well just cool it down and just wait for another opportunity to end it off. I mean, they're, they're even in two minds about, hey, do we take this Tormentor? Do we not? Chen finally gets the Aghanim shot. So we'll finally... Hey. Um, probably not. I mean, he's, he's backing off before he's going to be able to use oh, the Holy no. Persuasion. He needs to be there for the defense. Oh, no. And he might actually die. And if he dies, because he expended this gold on the Aghanim shot, he doesn't have buyback. Mm -hmm. This is a scary place to be on the side of Ancient Tribe. They only have two buybacks in the entire squad at the moment. Alchemist, uh, Alchemist, channeling the stun. Let's see about this one. I don't know. They get the stun out onto Yuma. Yuma does have an Aegis to hop around. They though. get the jump back in onto Mixer. Mixer, he's in danger. Ice Blast connects onto him. The Olacor zaps him with the Dagon. And Visage forced to buy back. Although Yuma does end up losing most of his HP pool. Might even lose out on this Aegis. But brought down to no. 200 HP. No clip. Demonstrating strength as he has the Rapier right now. I mean, they so can just this back is off, they go play. for a full heal back in base, and then they're going to go again, because well, why not? No oh, God Strength God. expended. They have everything. Did they actually even use anything that they can't replenish? No, they just popped the pipe, which is back in ice 20 blast. seconds. That's it. Dude, Ice so, Blast barely has a cooldown. Yeah, it's 10 like more 50 seconds. seconds. Mobe. 
if they really Mobius want to. giving could've... me heart palpitations, dude. Like his they could have put another or, uh, Motor Sorb onto him as well and just reflected the stun once again, and maybe that was the yeah. indication they need to be able to make an aggressive move. They're playing very all carefully. This, all this physical damage reduction as well. The Dalai Lama's hitting up onto his level 20. Yuma is taking well. quite a bit of damage. Oh no, they're jumping in onto the Medusa. She doesn't have any mana left. They get to force off her away, but it's too late. She's down and out. Rapier picked up by Yuma. Stuff stun onto Mobe, and there's just no more fight opportunity as now. Yuma is the one with the Rapier. GG well played is called. Ancient Tribe get wiped out. D2 Hustlers grab the W.